You've got one of the best in the nation. It's possible he could lead you to one of the best spots in the nation and a national championship. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. Countdown to tip off until the beginning of the college basketball season. I'm talking about point guards, the best in the nation, one of the most important positions, if not the most important position on a college basketball court. Let's bring in CBSSports.com's Gary Parrish uh, to break this down, our college basketball columnist. And Gary, we've already talked about the fact this season that you've got John Wall, a freshman point guard, going to Kentucky as your preseason player of the year. So obviously he's your best point guard listed, but just how crucial is he to Kentucky season? Oh, he's very, very important. But, I mean, he's also extremely talented and, and, and capable. I, um, you know, I've taken a lot of heat from fans, from readers, uh, about naming a, quote, kid who's never played a college game uh, the preseason national player of the year. But to a man, without exception, of the coaches I've talked to, I mean, I've had coaches, like, read the message boards underneath the column and then call me and say, no, 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 I just want to let you know, you nailed that. Uh, this kid is special. I mean, he's just a, he's a different kind of talent. He is a, you know, you know, he's a different, he's a, he's a pro basketball player who happens to be spending a year in college, and he's just going to overwhelm people physically, and particularly in John's dribble drive motion offense that has allowed Derrick Rose to become the number one pick in the draft, that has allowed uh, Tyreek Evans to become a top five pick in the draft, and it will allow John Wall to do the exact same thing. He, and the other thing is, he, he's more verbal than Derrick, and, 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 and probably more of a leader than, than Tyreek or Derrick. You know, before I did that, I, I think I told you last week, I talked to John Calipari about it, and I said, look, what am I missing? He said, you're not missing a thing. This kid's the real deal. And, you know, they've got him on campus. They've seen nothing that makes them think he's not as great as they always thought, and he's putting in the work. And, it, you know, with a guy with his kind of talent, unless he's just a bad kid or lazy, he's going to succeed at a high level, and there's no evidence that John Wall's a bad kid or lazy. I, I think he's going to be tremendous. And, and could, yes, can, does can, to, for Kentucky to accomplish what it wants to accomplish, does he have to be tremendous? Of course he does, but I, I don't have a doubt in my mind that he's going to be. Yeah, maybe in the same way that Derrick Rose was right. two years ago, getting them to the uh, championship game there in San Antonio. All right, now he hasn't proved anything yet. A couple of the other guys on this list have played for the national title in each of the last two years. Kalen Lucas at Michigan State one, Sharon Collins at Kansas is the other. Which one will have a better season this year? You know what? I, I might say Lucas just because, you know, at Kansas they're so deep that, you know, nobody's going to be asked to do way, way, way too much. I mean, you know, you've got Collins to Tyshawn Taylor to Xavier Henry to – uh, the Morris twins to Cole Aldrich. And, you know, whereas Kalen Lucas probably has to be the best player on his team, Sharon Collins just has to be the distributor on his team. I mean, he's going to go get points. I mean, he's still Sharon Collins. But, uh, you know, he's got Cole Aldrich, uh, you know, in front of him. He's got Xavier Henry on his, on his hip. I mean, he's, got, he's surrounded by uh, a better talent, frankly, than, than the talent that Kalen Lucas is surrounded by at Michigan State. Um, so so I, I would think, you know, if you're looking at individual numbers, Kalen Lucas might have a better year. But, uh, you know, again, they're not going to ask Sharon to go out and carry a, a team or, or do everything at, at Kansas because he, he's surrounded by, you know, if, if not for Kentucky, and, and maybe with exception of Kentucky, the, the best talent in the country. Yeah, it was fun to see him go head-to-head -head twice last year. It was special on the basketball court. Uh, meanwhile, you got UConn's Kemba Walker on here. Now, last year as a freshman, he wasn't asked to do everything, like you're talking about with Kalen Lucas, maybe for Michigan State, because he had A.J. Price, because they had the beaten Adrian up front. This year, that may change. Just what does Kemba Walker have to do, and does he have the skills to do it? He definitely got the skills. I mean, nobody's ever doubted this kid. I've seen him play on the on the summer AU circuit for years before he enrolled at UConn. And there was actually some questions about whether he should have been starting even before Jerome Dyson went down last year. Um, that that tells you to his talent level. But now, you know, he's got to be the point guard. He can't just be the off guard. Kind. He's got to run this team. Um, again, I think he's capable. Uh, he, he's an extremely talented guy, you know, a New York kid, so he's really tough. He's got a certain mindset about him, and yeah, I, I love the guy. And, and, and to, you know, for a guy, if you just look at numbers, there's no way he belongs uh, on a list as highly as I'll have him. But if you look at talent and, and you talk to basketball coaches, they will tell you this kid's the real deal. And, and uh, I, I think UConn, look, they're going to slip a little bit just because they lost so much, but I don't think they're going to slip too far, and a lot of that's going to be because of Kimball Walker. Lost their top three scores. Gary, I've seen a picture of you on Facebook. I know you're, you're going to run the point somewhere. you got eligibility left, don't you? I do have eligibility left, but I – 
spirit of full disclosure, I have trouble going left. Uh, understand. I have trouble going right, so we're in the same boat. Gary Parrish, thank you very much, sir. College basketball right around the corner. We'll talk to you soon, bud. Hi, man. All right, folks, for more on Countdown to Tip-Off and all of Gary's articles leading up to the beginning of the season, stay right here with CBSSports.com. For Gary Parrish, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.